Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. Now this is ultrasound A scan because it is a uh, amplitude scan and is using a CRO. So what they gave you was the time base in the CRO and then you are supposed to find the thickness of the layer of fat when you are given the speed. To find the thickness of the layer of fat, you have to find the time interval uh, from this uh, diagram. Now always remember transmitted pulse refers to at the skin boundary, uh, at the water-based gel and the skin boundary. That's called the transmitted pulse. So after that, they told you the first reflected pulse. The first reflected pulse they told you is at the, the fat muscle boundary, all right, they told you. And then the second reflected pulse is at the muscle bone boundary. So fat muscle, bo fat muscle boundary means this side is fat, this side is muscle. If the muscle bone boundary means this side is muscle, this side is bone. So it makes sense. Huh? So to find the thickness of layer of fat, let's find the time that it takes to travel through fat. Now firstly, we find the time from this peak to this peak because this is supposedly entering the skin and this is the one that is reaching the fat muscle boundary. So we count the number of these small boxes. You notice horizontally there are two. So what you would do to find the total time is you must take two boxes over five boxes. Because five boxes is one centimeter. So basically you're using ratio to find how many centimeters is represented by two boxes. So two over five gives you how many centimeters. Then you must times the time base 10, to 10 times 10 to the power negative 6 because 10 microseconds per centimeter. But then and don't forget also to divide by 2. Now, why must divide by 2? Because if you look at the layer of fat, for example, this is the first, uh, the, this, that's called the transmitted pulse. Then the ultrasound goes in and then comes back out again and then that is your first reflected pulse. In other words, the time difference between this peak and this peak is the time for the ultrasound to go into the fat and come out again. So therefore, when you find the time from here to here, it is time for you to go and come back. That's, therefore, after you found the time, you must divide by two because you want only one side to find the time to pass through the fat. So you must divide by two. So then you take the speed, 1450, and you times this value. After you calculate this, will be two uh, microseconds, and you get the thickness. And for muscle, uh, same thing. You count the number of boxes from here to here, which is the, t the time uh, is 26 boxes. So 26 boxes over 5 boxes gives you centimeters. And then you times the time base, which is 10 microseconds per centimeter, you get total time. Again, you must divide by 2. Alright, then you times your speed and then you get your thickness. So they gave you the acoustic impedance and absorption coefficient for both muscle and bone. And they give you the intensity reflection coefficient. So in case you're wondering what is intensity reflection coefficient, sometimes people, they put the, the symbol alpha here. So, and then they say the attenuation of ultrasound follows a similar relation to the attenuation of x-rays. Right? So that means you can use back the same formula I equals I not E negative Kx. Huh? Now, a parallel beam of uh, ultrasound intensity I enters a layer of, mus layer of muscle of thickness 4.1 centimeters, right? All right, then let's look at the next part. So in this part, uh, calculate the intensity reflection coefficient at the muscle bone boundary. So at the muscle bone boundary, your first medium will be muscle, second medium will be bone. So when you want to substitute the IR over I, uh, called the intensity reflection coefficient. So you substitute Z2 as bone, okay? You use the acoustic impedance, uh, which is bone 1. And then you, mi you minus the Z1 for the muscle here. Then after that, um, you do Z2 plus Z1, then you should get this 0 0.331. Now, the fraction of the incident intensity that is transmitted from the surface of the muscle, muscle to the surface of the bone. Now, surface of the muscle is here. Surface of the bone is here. So basically, what they're asking you is the fraction of the incident in intensity that will pass from here to here. So that one will be absorbed by muscle. So if it's absorbed by muscle, then you use this formula for absorption. I over I0 e, e, 
equals to e to the power of negative kx. So since it's passing through muscle, you must use the absorption coefficient for muscle. So e to the power of negative 23. Now this is per meter, but the muscle thickness in centimeter, so don't forget to change it to meter. So this will be your fraction of the, of the incident intensity that will be transmitted. So for the last part, the intensity in terms of I that is received back at the surface of the muscle. Now this one uh, must be careful. In other words, what comes in is, uh, let's say, uh, I, how much comes out finally. Because what comes in here is I, then first it will be absorbed by muscle, so some will be lost. Then it will be reflected, so some will be lost as well. Then after it comes back out through muscle, so again you'll be some will be lost. So how much finally will come up? That's what we want. So there are three stages: ah, huh? absorb, reflected, absorb. So as we, what we used to do for X-rays, right? If let's say there are multiple layers, so you you take the ratios and multiply them together. For example, if it's absorb, you take the ratio of absorb, which is zero point three eight nine, then you times the reflected the ratio 0 0.331 then absorb again then you times the ratio for absorb and then you will get the final intensity now if you want to know why let me explain to you why uh. now if i were to uh, zoom in here let me show you what is happening okay so you will notice that how much is uh, okay uh, let me start from here and uh, move it here now how much is uh, coming in is i now, how much will come out here will be 0 0.3898, which is from here. Because you see, uh, from this calculation, what you are saying is I over I0 equals to 0 0.389. So you bring the I0 over, you are saying that the final intensity is 0 0.389 of the initial intensity, right? Not? So since your initial intensity is I, the final intensity is 0 0.389. I lah. Now, then after that, if you look at the reflection coefficient here, which is uh, 0 0.331. So what are we trying to say here? We are saying that at the boundary, if an intensity of I comes in, 0 0.331 of that will be reflected. That's what it means. So whatever comes in at the boundary, 0 0.331 of that will be reflected. So therefore, if we come back to this calculation, so how much is arriving at this boundary, 0 0.389i? How much will be reflected? 0 0.331 of this value will be reflected. Okay? Now, after that, this value will pass through muscle again. So, we need to use back this ratio again. So, this ratio again tells you the final intensity is 0 0.389 of the initial intensity. So, what is the initial intensity now? This value. So, what is the final intensity? 0 0.389 of this value. So, that will be the one coming up. So the shortcut next time if you don't want to do such a long way is what I told you before. So you actually take uh, the ratio of reflected and uh, absorb uh, and you just keep multiplying them together. So for example, if it's absorbed first, so you take the absorbed 0 0.389, then it's reflected, then you times the reflected ratio, then it's absorbed again, then you times the absorbed ratio, then you get the final ratio. Uh. All right, then you bring the I over, then you get your final intensity. So IF here is the final intensity. Now, they give you again the values for Z and uh, absorption coefficient for fat and muscle. The thickness X of the layer of fat of an animal is given. All right, uh, as X only. Uh, so this is just X only, uh, unknown. Later on, you got to find this. So then they gave me that the intensity that is coming in at the surface of the layer of fat is let's say we call it I. And then the beam is reflected from the boundary between fat and muscles. We know there's a bit of reflection there. And how much is detected back at the surface of the fat is 0 0.012 I. That means I comes in, 0 0.012 I comes out. So in this question, they gave you what came out. So let's first do the part one, find the intensity reflection coefficient. So that one is easy, fat muscle boundary. So use the value for Z of fat and muscle. You should be able to get this. Now, the next part is to find the thickness of the layer of fat. Now to find the thickness of the layer of fat, uh, what you would have to do is you use the amount that came up. So remember just now when we were doing the the amount that came out, remember, if it passes through this, then it's absorbed, then reflected, then absorbed again. 
So we do the same thing. So the final value will be equal to the ratio of absorbed. Now, how much is absorbed? Remember, I over I naught is equals to E negative KX. So your K or mu here, just a constant K or mu. You have to use fact first. So it's negative 48X. So this is the ratio of absorbed times the ratio of reflected times the ratio of absorbed again. So what's the ratio of absorbed? Same thing, lah, e to the power negative 48 x because again, it's going to pass through fat. So what you will notice is the i will cancel. Then you just combine these two, you get e to the power negative 96 x. Bring that over, lawn, and do all your functions. And then finally, you will get this in meter. And then you change it to centimeter. So what they gave you is the ultrasound of intensity i naught is entering the layer of muscle. And uh, they gave you again the values of the linear absorption coefficient, the specific acoustic impedance. So let's find out the ratio of IT over I0. Uh. So if you notice what is IT, uh, IT is a transmitted part. So usually, uh, uh, the previous questions, what we have been doing is what we, we find is what is transmit, uh, what is reflected and then what comes out here again. Now here we want to find what's transmitted. So how do we actually do that? So we do the first part. Uh, as usual, because if you notice that in the ultrasound will pass through, you will be absorbed first, right? So that's still the same. Then after that, we have to find how much is reflected, right? Not usually. So let's find the two as usual first. So let's find the amount that is uh, absorbed. I mean, uh, what will come out after being absorbed? Huh? So we use I equals to I naught E negative mu for the muscle, which is negative 23. Then the thickness, 3.4 centimeter, change it to meter, so then you get that. Now, after that, we do as usual, we're going to find the amount that's reflected. So IR over I is Z2 minus Z1 squared over Z2 plus Z1 squared, right? Now. So what it basically means once you reach up to here is the amount that's reflected is 0 0.331 mm -hmm. times the amount that reaches that boundary. Agreed. So since the amount reaches the boundary, right, we know uh, it's actually 0 0.45 I naught. If 0 0.331 of this is reflected, how much will be transmitted rather than reflected? So remember, whatever comes into this boundary, if 0 0.331 is reflected, the balance must be transmitted. Makes sense, huh? So how to find the balance? 1 minus, huh? So if the, if the amount reflected over what comes to the boundary is 0 0.331, then the amount transmitted over what comes to the boundary will be 1 minus, 1 minus 0 0.331. So they get 0 0.669. So this means the amount transmitted is 0 0.669 of what came at the boundary. So what came at the boundary? 0 0.45 I0. So you take 0 0.669 times 0 0.45 I0, then you get this value. Lah. Or you can do a shortcut. You take the amount transmitted, the ratio transmitted 0 0.669 times the ratio of uh, uh, transmitted after being absorbed. Then you get the same answer. That's all for today's video. If you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the mark scheme just doesn't seem to help, Genius got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.